All right, this is a video tutorial for your preparing close and entries assignment. Um, this assignment has two parts. The first part is right here where you have four questions that ask you to do things like define an income statement, define the income summary account, um, describe the purpose of the income statement and income summary accounts. I'm not going to spend any time going over that because that's pretty straightforward. Um, basically, just putting the definitions or the purpose of the accounts. What I do want to go over though is part two down here where you need to prepare the closing entries um, given certain accounts and account balances. Um, so the accounts that I'm going to be doing the closing entries for are listed here. Um, obviously they're a little bit different than the accounts that you're going to prepare the closing entries for. Um, but again, this is going to be very similar. So if you follow along, it should help you um, be able to complete your assignment. Uh, the closing entries have four steps. Uh, the first step is to close any revenue accounts. If you look at the, my list of temporary accounts here, my only revenue account is the sales account. So I'm going to have to close that out, to close that account out in the first step here. Anytime that you close out an account, you need to record a balance opposite that account's normal balance. So sales is a revenue account. All revenue accounts have a normal credit balance. So in this, in this um, example, the sales account would have a credit balance of $1,200. So to close that account, I need to debit sales for $1,200. So I'm gonna go down here to my general journal and record this transaction. The date, as it says in the instructions, is December 31st of the current year. Um, the account is going to be sales. Uh, I won't need to do anything with a post reference in this assignment. You don't need to post your um, transactions. You just need to journalize them. So that's going to, the post reference column will stay blank. And in the debit column, I'll put in my $1,200 debit. Now, obviously this transaction isn't over because anytime that you record a transaction, you need to have equal debit and credit parts. And the account that we use to close the sales account into temporarily is called the income summary account. So my credit in this transaction is going to be to income summary for the same amount, $1,200. So the effect of this is it's just transferring temporarily this $1,200 in sales we made to the income summary account, which will eventually show what our net income or net loss is. So that's it for the first step of these transactions. So now I go on to the second step, which is to close any expense accounts. As you see in this example, I have three expense accounts. I have rent expense, I have salary expense, and I have utilities expense. So in one transaction, I'm going to close all three of these accounts. Um, again, to close an account, you need to record a you need to record an amount opposite its normal balance. Expense accounts always have a normal debit balance. So this means to close all these accounts, I'm going to need to credit them. So down here in my general journal, again, I'll put in the date for the second transaction. Oh, that didn't format the way I wanted it to. Let me change that quick, sorry about that. All right, we'll just deal with a different format on that, I guess, for now. It's not a big deal. Um, but again, I'm recording my closing entry to close out my expense accounts here. Um, again, as I said, expense accounts have a normal debit balance, which means I'm going to have to credit them. Uh, I always record my debit first when recording them in the general journal. And just like I transferred my sales temporarily into the income summary account, I'm going to be doing the same thing here with my expenses. So my debit in this transaction is going to be to income summary, and then I'm going to have three credits to rent expense, salary expense, and utilities expense. And the amount of these credits for these expense accounts is just gonna be equal to their balances up here. So 500 to rent expense, 1,000 to salary expense, and 200 to utilities expense. And then again, any all transactions, your debits and credits need to have equal parts. So my income summary debit is just going to be the sum of these three expense accounts. So 500 plus 1,000 plus 200 will be a $1,700 debit to income summary. All right, now my third step in this transaction is going to be to close out the income summary account and then transfer that net income or net loss to your owner's capital account. 
So again, I'll put in my date, and again, it's gonna mess up my formatting there, I guess. So let me just change this again. Sorry for the delay. Okay, I'll just make my formatting match there as well. Okay, so now I need to, as I said, record my third transaction, my third step, which is to close out income summary and transfer that net income or net loss to my owner's capital account. So what I need to do now is figure out if I had a net income or a net loss here and whether or not my income summary at this point has a debit or a credit balance. Two ways you can do this. One, I could look at the difference between my revenue and my expenses, which will tell me my net income or net loss. So I see here that I had $1,200 in sales, so $1,200 in revenue. And I see here that if I add up my three expense accounts, I had $1,700 in expenses. So clearly I had a net loss during this time period. Um, so a net loss is going to decrease my owner's capital account. The owner's capital account decreases with a debit. So I know that I'm going to be debiting my owner's capital account and crediting income summary here. The other way you could look at this is just imagine that you're going to be posting these um, transactions right now. So if I were to post this $1,200 credit to income summary, followed by posting this $1,700 debit to income summary, the end result would be that I would have a $500 debit balance in the income summary account. Uh, as with all my closing entries, to close them out, I need to record a balance opposite the account's balance. So if income summary has a $500 debit balance, I need to credit it for $500. So I'm going to record this transaction. So as I said, since we have a net loss, my owner's capital account is going to be decreasing and the owner's capital decreases with a debit. Um, I'm not given a full list, a full chart of accounts here, so I don't even see what my, see what my owner's name is um, or what the name of my capital account is. So I'm just going to type in owner's capital and I'll have a $500 debit to that capital account. And then I have my $500 credit to income summary. And as you can see, if we were to post these transactions, a $1,200 credit to income summary, followed by a $1,700 debit, followed by a $500 credit, it'll cancel itself out and income summary at this point would be closed. So that's the third step to the um, closing entries is to close out your income summary account and then transfer that net income or net loss into your owner's capital account. Okay, and then my fourth and final step to the closing entries is to close out my owner's drawing account, so the withdrawals account. Um, as you can see, the owner during this time period withdrew $450 uh, worth of assets from their business. So now to prepare these accounts for a new time period, we need to zero this amount out so that we can keep track of how much the owner withdraws from the company next time period. Uh, the owner's drawing account will always have a normal debit balance. So this $450, we need to close out with a $450 credit. The account that we close it into, that we transfer that amount to, is the owner's capital account. So uh, the owner's capital account, in this case, is going to be debited, decreasing the owner's capital account by the amount of the withdrawals. So again, I don't know the owner's name, so I'm just going to call the account owner's capital and it's going to be a $450 debit. Same thing with the owner's drawing account. I don't know the owner's name. It would be owner's name, comma, drawing, usually. Um, since I don't know the name, I'm just gonna call it withdrawals, and it's going to be a $450 credit. And again, this is all you need to do for this transaction. You don't need to, po or for this assignment, you don't need to post these transactions. Um, so in your assignment, it's going to be similar to what I just did here. Um, the one thing I will say is in this third step, um, in my example, I had a net loss. Um, if I would have had a net income, these two accounts, uh, owner's capital and income summary, would have been reversed because owner's capital would be increasing then by the amount of the net income. Um, again, in this example, I had a net loss, so the owner's capital account was decreasing by the amount of my net loss. Um, if you have any questions as you work on your assignment, feel free to get hold of me. Otherwise, I hope it goes well for you.